Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the Excel 2010 course. This is week number three and this is part two of two parts. Um, today's topic is just going to be an introduction to formulas. I know we've touched on them in week two, but I'm going to um, get a little bit deeper here. And then next week we go in and do more of a deep dive on formulas. So what I'm going to do, you can see I've just put a couple, um, couple uh, numbers here. And um, by the way, on the download sheet, there'll be a tab for formatting and a tab for the, where, where the formulas will be located if you end up downloading this from the website. So with that said, um, I'm going to jump in here. A real common formula is just to add numbers or average numbers. So if you go here, I put in you know 10 through 50 here, very basic. Um, I go to formulas. I can do, I can use any of these common ones up here, but uh, the auto sum is a very popular one. So if I click auto sum here, you see what will happen. It will just default and it will it will add up those numbers, um, which total 150. However, I can go underneath that same formula and click the little pull down here. You can see I've got lots of other um, options here like average. So if I want to average those numbers, I just, I can go there. If I want to count those numbers, I can go there and do that. And that's the formula, for example, equals count, A10 to A14 there. Um, you can um, obviously type these out. These are pre-done for you, so you don't have a, um, so it's real simple to do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and change that back to, um, I'll put it back to sum, which will total them up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little um, formula here to create a payment. So let's assume you were going for a, um, you were going to buy a car and you wanted to know what your payment would be before you went in there, what you could afford, what you couldn't afford. So let's assume that um, you're going to, what you're going to do here to go to formulas, you're going to go to financial, do the pull down and we're going to go down and we're going to find payment, which is PMT. All right, when you highlight these, by the way, it should pop up and tell you what, what it is. And you can see right there, it calculates the payment for a loan based on a con based on constant payments and the constant interest rate. So I'm going to click payment. And you can see over here, I can fill these in manually. Like for example, I could put in, let's assume that I'm going to get a 5% interest rate, 0.05. And I'm going to divide it by 12 because I'm going to have monthly payments. If it was an annual payment, I would not divide it by 12. So number of periods, let's assume it's four years. So I'm going to do 48 months. And then I'm going to choose, put the present value is, um, let's assume I'm going to do a $18,000 loan. Future value, you can just leave as zero for a typical loan. And then the type, I'm going to leave as the default. But you could put, um, if for some reason you were modified, you know, you did some, some kind of a unique loan. There's a way to change the payment to be the beginning of the period, um, the beginning of the month, essentially. Um, the default is to pay at the end of the period, which is the end of the month or the end of the month. Um, and so it defaults to zero. So I'm going to leave that as is. And you can see what will happen here. It puts the payment here in a 41453. And you can see by default it, it shows up as a negative number um, because it's a payment. Um, so we'll, we'll do a couple things here. I want to go ahead and make this so it's a little bit more friendly. So we, we can do a couple things here. We can go in here and do um, F2 to go in and edit the cell. Um, and we can go in and edit that and we can change it and change this. So let's say, oh, I don't want a payment that high. I want to only borrow $16,000. Okay, drop my payment. Or I want to change the number of months to 60. Um, but what I've done here is I've put some different cells here that what we can do is reference these cells to make our lives a little easier and make it a little a nicer spreadsheet. So with that said, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to edit the cell. Um, again, I'm going to hit F2 to edit the cell. And I am going to change this. Instead of saying the interest rate here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that and I'm going to click the, click the cell B2 and then it's going to divide it by 12 and then I'm going to take the number of periods here I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to go ahead and choose the number of months and then instead of typing the number right in the formula I'm going to go ahead and use cell B1 so I'm going to hit enter and you can see it's not going to work now because there's no numbers in here but let's fill it in so let's go ahead and borrow $20,000 
let's get an interest rate of now um, what I've done is on the edit on the previous um, formatting of cells I changed this already to a percentage so you can just type in the percentage in a whole number format so let's say you get 3.99 percent interest I can do that by the way if you don't have that cell formatted already you'll have to type that in as um, if you've just have the default format in that so you'd have to type 0 .0399 in this case um, because I've already converted to a cell so I can type that uh, to a percentage cell so I can um, I can just type in the number like that and then let's do 60 months and they have return and there's my payment for 60 months if you don't want your payment to show up as a negative number um, what you can do here so you can go into the formula. Actually, uh, let me just do that by going to hit F2 here. And then I can take the loan amount here and I can change that to a negative. And so it would just invert the, invert the amount to a positive. Okay, but I'm gonna change that back. It doesn't really matter, you, you get the idea. So now I can go in over here and I can say, well, what if I, you know, I really don't wanna stretch it out over five years. I wanna pay it off in 36 months. And however, now I can't let's I uh, can't afford the 590. So let me go ahead and see what I can get for sixteen thousand dollars. And so now you can go in and do um, you know look at the scenarios and see what your payments would be to see what you see what you can, can afford prior to going shopping. Anyways, that should do it for week three. Appreciate you joining and please subscribe and take care.